love of Christ. Well, good morning to you all and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist, live from St Fagan's Church on this Mothering Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Lent. With me here are my good colleague, Reverend Peter Godsell, and his wife, Mary. We meet in a time of great uncertainty, but we do so, as we do every Sunday, to proclaim our faith in the God who raised Jesus Christ from the dead, who shows that goodness and light and hope will always triumph over darkness and fear. On this Mothering Sunday, we give thanks for the love shown to us by our families and friends, and for the love we receive from God, who is both our Father and our Mother. We pray particularly at this time for all families who are separated from one another, for all who are ill or suffering, for all medical staff and those treating the sick, for all suffering financial hardship or worry, and for all in authority who must make difficult decisions. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you, no secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord who is full of compassion and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin. Strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose Son, Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth, and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. A man from the house of Levi married a Levite woman. The woman conceived and bore a son, and when she saw that he was a fine baby, she hid him for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she got a precarious basket for him and plastered it with pitumen and pitch. She put the child in it and placed it among the weeds on the bank of the river. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. The daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river while her attendants walked beside the river. She saw the basket among the weeds and sent her maid to bring it. When she opened it, she saw the child. He was crying, and she took pity on him. This must be one of the Hebrew's children, she said. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get you a nurse from the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Yes. So the girl went and called the child's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, 
and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed it. When the child grew up, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and she took him as her son. She named him Moses because she said, I drew him out of the water. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm this morning, Psalm 34, we say together. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there who delights in life and longs for days to enjoy good things? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver them. He keeps all their bones, so that not one of them is broken. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Ask God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. so many different 
types of shops. There were the greengrocers, the ironmongers, the shoe shops, the butchers, as well as a rather large Aberdeer Cooperative Society building. Today, if you took a photo of the present High Street, you would see a High Street that is full of charity shops, barbers, hairdressers, boarded up shops, but also card shops. They seem to have proliferated. In Aberdeer, I can think of at least four card shops, as well as other shops that sell cards as part of the items that they sell. These card shops must obviously make a profit, and you will always see people buying cards, as well as buying cards for birthdays and Christmas. You will see cards for sale for anniversaries, special events such as retirement, passing your exams, and even moving to a new house. In the last few weeks, the card shops have been selling cards for this weekend. I would like to tell you a, a little story. Jack frowned at the rack of greeting cards. Can I help you? asked the shop assistant. I would like a card for Mothering Sunday, Jack explained. But they are all Mother's Day. Same thing came the reply from the shop assistant. But Jack shook his head. No, they're not. The lady I'm buying it for isn't my mum, he said. Fact is, she's been like a mother to me. Well, today's readings are all about mothers. In the first reading we heard, the mother of Moses hid him in the reeds from the wicked Pharaoh who would have killed him. The Pharaoh had decreed that all baby boys were to be thrown into the river Nile because he feared that they might become too foul powerful and oust him. When Moses was three months old, his mother put him in a basket at the riverside. She could not bring herself to throw Moses into the river Nile. Luckily, Moses' sister Miriam was watching the papyrus basket when the daughter of Pharaoh came to beg and noticed the basket with the baby in it. She could not bear to see this young baby killed. Miriam suggested to Pharaoh's daughter that perhaps one of the Hebrew women could look after the baby. This she accepted, and lo and behold, Moses' proper mother was brought, unbeknown to Pharaoh's daughter, and was able to bring up Moses as a seemingly surrogate mother until the child could fend for himself. An act of kindness, an act of motherly love, saw someone ensure that this boy in the reeds would have a future. In paying for Moses' proper mother to look after him and then treating him as her own, the Pharaoh's daughter was showing an act of love. Mothering is not always restricted to mothers. Today's Gospel also hammers home this point. As Jesus approached his death on the cross, his compassion for those who loved him never failed. Picture the scene. Jesus had been placed cruelly on the cross. Gathered around him were his mother Mary, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. Jesus was able to see this little group in his agony on that cross. And when he saw his friend, probably John, but he was there as well, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple John, Here is your mother. And from that moment, Mary was taken into the disciples' own home and was looked after. People often understand this scene only in terms of Mary being taken into the disciples' 
disciples' home and receiving his protection. But Jesus is also asking his mother to love his friend, knowing that his mother and his closest friend would need each other's support after his death. He commended them to one another's keeping. Jesus is saying to Mary, Give a mother's love to my friend. Be like a mother to him. Mother, my disciple. And to all of us who stand beneath the cross and watch him dying for love of us, he says the same. Mother, my disciples. To the disciple, Jesus says, Be like a son to Mary. Each would in some way, in some way, be a son, be a daughter, the friend, the loved one, just as Jesus had been on earth. Whether we are male or female, God calls us to share his love with others. We are called to be Christ to our neighbour and to see Christ in our neighbour. One of the books that I was given in a my early life, and I still often refer to, is my pocket Oxford Dictionary. The edition I have was printed in 1965, so you can guess how old I am. And even now, I often refer to it for the meaning of words. So I looked at the word, to mother, a verb, to mother, and the definition was, definition was to act as mother. The Bible tells us that is exactly what God does for us. God sent his son, born of a woman, so that we might receive adoption as children. And he sends the spirit of his son into our hearts. Whether we use the word mother or father, we are reassured that God is a loving parent and we are acknowledged as his children. God mothers us. Today, of course, is Mothering Sunday, a time in the year when we take a little break from the solemnity of Lent. Mothering Sunday in my dictionary is described as the fourth Sunday in Lent with visits and presents of cake to parents. Sounds like a very bygone age. One hundred years ago, this Sunday, was a time when servants were taken to take time off to go and see their parents. And, no doubt, took cake home from the kitchens of the big house for their mothers. Latterly, most people have forgotten that today is a, a Christian festival. In normal times, Visiting would take place by us to those who are mother to us. The flower shops would be sold out, and the restaurants and the eating places would not have a table left for Sunday lunch if you had not booked. It shows how much society has changed, how affluent we have become. Cake has been replaced by a rather large meal, and flowers that in the majority of cases do not come from this country. Very few people foresaw what is happening this year. We get flu virus every year. I know that many of you usually have the flu jab at this time, or for this time. But this virus is like no other that we can remember, infecting so many, and for some, tragic outcomes. Many mothers and those who mother to others will not have visits this year. People are being urged to stay at home. Restaurants are closed. Many foodstuffs cannot be found on the shelves. Many people this year would even be glad at having a pack of toilet rolls as a little gift from others. This is a time in our lives when we should bring out the mothering instinct in all of us. We need to look after our neighbour. We need to do the right thing. We need to get through this emergency and be stronger for it. 
So when we go to that supermarket, just remember that other people must eat as well. Don't just clear the shelves. Keep in touch with your family and friends, as well as that grumpy person down the road in case they need something. As God mothers us, so we need to mother others. Let us take the example of Jesus as he asked his friend to look after his mother, as Pharaoh's daughter looked after Moses as well. As Christians, let us show the way by following their example. Hear our prayer. Holy God, your presence is all. 
our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body on the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty, Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord who was tempted in every way, yet did not sin. By his grace we are able to triumph over every evil, and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Heavenly Father, 
Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, through him accept our sacrifice of praise, and grant that by the power of your Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood. who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this all of you, for this is my blood of the new cup, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. Therefore, Father, remembering the saving death and resurrection of your Son, we offer to you in thanksgiving this bread and this cup, your gifts to us. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all of us who share this bread and this cup. Strengthen our faith, make us one, and welcome us and all your people into the glorious kingdom of your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his side. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, 
but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Just a little reminder to everybody that we shall be back here again at half past four this afternoon for a celebration of the Eucharist Ungamrai. And on Wednesday evening we will be broadcasting once again uh, as our Lent course and we will be celebrating the Eucharist uh, here again in St Fagans, live streamed uh, at 7pm to celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation and that will contain our next Lent address. And we decided earlier on, just in the vestry beforehand, that we would be uh, celebrating the Eucharist every Sunday for as long as we need to, uh, again live streaming at half past nine. So it'll be half past nine every Sunday, but we will, I think, rotate around the churches just to give you a, a bit of variety of the backdrop. So please do join us if you can, and it's been lovely to have your company from wherever you are this morning on this Mothering Sunday. Diolchuch hir ar bloed o herwydd gras o nuer, give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. We thank you, Father, for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son in this holy sacrament, through which we are assured of the hope of eternal life. We offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Keep us in the fellowship of his body, the Church, and send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Good.
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.